Welcome to the series of training videos to guide you through the install, configuration and usage of Envision Manager. This series of videos, along with the Envision Manager training guide, will give you a solid platform to help your understanding of the software. To demonstrate the functionality of Envision Manager, within the videos we have created a project to simulate a live site. The project itself has two levels. The first level is the DALI level. We are using a DALI training case which holds 16 DALI ballasts split between two DALI Multimaster controllers. There are four wiring terminals in the DALI training case. Wired to the first two are two DALI emergency light fittings. The next wiring terminal is connected to a board that contains five DALI light fittings. This will be used to demonstrate DALI lamp failure. The final wiring terminal is connected to a small fitting that contains three extra DALI addressable ballasts. These will be used to demonstrate DALI ballast replacement. Also on the DALI level is a DDNG485 gateway which is configured for DMX transmit and connected to a DMX RGB fitting. The Dynec connection on the DALI training case is then linked to one of the three Dynec connection ports on our standard training case. The ground floor level of the project is using the standard training case which contains 24 channels split across two 12-channel LED controllers. The training case has three Dynet ports. Port 1 is connected to the DALI training case, as mentioned. Port 2 is connected to the DDNG485 configured for the DMX transmit. The third port is connected to the Dynet port on an Ethernet bridge. This in turn is linked to a wireless router. The Envision Manager server is installed on a standalone machine connected to a live project via a TCP connection through the Ethernet bridge. A separate machine with the Envision Manager client installed connects back to the server via the wireless network with the correct server connection details. If your role requires administration of the Envision Manager server or you are involved in the original commissioning stage of the project, then it is recommended you watch the series of videos on Envision Manager administration. If your role only requires usage of the Envision Manager client, then it is recommended to watch the client videos, paying particular attention to the various maintenance options. Finally, if you have any questions in relation to Envision Manager after watching the videos and consulting the training guide, please contact our technical support via the following email address. support.controls at philips.com